From Sunseeker liners to Gulfstream jets, it takes a lot to keep up with Italy's richest. And when we mention Italy's wealthiest, the numbers are staggering. The wealthiest Italian billionaire boasts a current net worth of over $33 billion. That's right, Giovanni Ferrero. The current executive chairman of Nutella owes his success to the chocolatey hazelnut flavor you love to spread over a slice of bread. In 2020, his family's confection business earned nearly $15 billion in sales. Well, people were staying home and getting fat, so it does make sense. You bet the next time you pop a Ferrero Rocher hazelnut and chocolate cream candy into your mouth around the holiday season, you won't forget how luxurious the brand actually is. Born in Italy in 1964, the 65-year-old Giovanni studied studied marketing abroad in the U.S. at Lebanon Valley College in the state of Pennsylvania. He inherited the confection company from his inventor father, Michel, 2015. Its sales have increased by over $4 billion between 2019 and 2020 alone. That's a lot of chocolate. Selling all those decadent candies affords the Ferrero Air big luxuries, like booking the Palladial Imperial Suite at the Grand Hotel Villa Cerbelloni in Bellagio. This mansion away from home boasts five rooms, including a center villa, two center suites, two senior suites, and two deluxe rooms with several amenities, including one's own personal butler. The lavish space is so exclusive it's only available upon request. Past guests include the political elite, such as U.S. President John F. Kennedy, Hollywood director and filmmaker George Lucas, and Academy Award winner Al Pacino. No doubt Mr. Ferrero's black card would be accepted here. With only 43 billionaires in a country of almost 60 million people, kinda makes a fellow wonder what mentality separates them so far apart in wealth. The introverted Giovanni communicated his business strategy to the Wall Street Journal like so. Tradition is like a bow. The more we stretch the bowstring, the farther we can throw the arrows of modernity and innovation. Come to think of it, yeah, those Ferrero Rocher commercials really convey that 11-figure sentiment. The second richest Italian resident is none other than Leonardo Del Vecchio. At the time of writing, the innovator of eyewear has amassed a net worth of a whopping $26 billion. His story is truly one of rags to riches as he worked his way up from a life in the orphanage to founding the most prominent sunglasses company in the world. In 1961, Luxottica was born, and although you may not be familiar with his name, the chances that your eyewear stems from Leonardo's founding company is very likely. Most eyewear brands, including sunglasses and vision glasses, are owned by Luxottica. At 86 years of age, Leonardo has lived quite a good life and continues to do so. He resides with his wife in the posh fashion city of Milano at their multi-million dollar estate. And when he's not busy spending quality time with his six children, he enjoys vacation time on his $40 million Conde Casa yacht. This eight-guest cabin luxury liner can reach speeds of up to 17 knots and has an annual maintenance cost between three and four million dollars. No busy billionaire flies coach. First class is no match for the Gulfstream G650. This $65 million private jet is exclusive to the top of the world's richest elite, as there are only 308 in existence. At over 53 feet in length, the private aircraft can seat up to 18 passengers and comfortably sleeps 10. No more sleeping on your neighbor's shoulder in business class for this guy. Ah yes, Leonardo floats and flies in style. The next time you're at Walgreens to pick up your prescription, remember that your convenience of retail pharmacy comes at a cost of over 9 billion US dollars. That's courtesy of Stefano Piscina, the executive chairman of Walgreens Boots Alliance, the largest pharmacy retailer in the world. This Italian monegasque businessman was encouraged by his father to pursue his family's pharmaceutical business, a lucrative move, as an extra large portion of his vast $13.4 billion income comes from drugs. You can bet members of Sardinia Yacht Clubs talk about his 160-foot self-designed yacht. It's worth a whopping $50 million. Nice to have that option to go sailing on a whim. It's rumored he also owns a fleet of luxury automobiles, yet keeps them as private, prized possessions. Old money don't show off like new money. His mentality, in his own words, can be summed up with this quote, My brain only works in one direction, and that is future. I never worry about present as by the time you talk about present, it's gone. Wise words. We can't talk about living a lush Italian life without mentioning the billion-dollar fashion empires. Patrizio Bertelli, 
with a current net worth of over $5 billion, is the co-CEO of the global iconic fashion brand, Prada. From $9,000 handbags to $13,000 coats, this haute couture company is for the devil, as well as anyone who wants to look the good kind of bad. Since 1913, Prada has been producing lavish quality while lining their own designer wallets. In 2011, Patrizio and his wife took the company public in Hong Kong and really started raking it in. Nothing like OPM, other people's money. Average earners usually take up adult sports leagues as hobbies. Others may join a gym to find an outlet. But when you're Patrizio, not only do you indulge in your passion for luxury items and businesses, you spend a lot of spare time competing with your $5 million Sunseeker sailboat, dubbed the Luna Rosa. Mr. Bertelli's luxury liner races annually in the America's Cup Challenge, the oldest trophy in international sport dating all the way back to 1851. This billionaire's deep passion for the high-end sport of sailing led him to being the first Italian national to be inducted into the America's Cup Hall of Fame in 2012. Not bad. Who is Patrizio's better half? She is none other than the co-CEO of the Prada brand and worth a hefty $5.3 billion herself right now. Yes, Muccia Prada is not only the lead handbag designer for Prada, she enjoys running the business with her husband. This dynamic power couple are a marketing juggernaut. Just this month, Muccia's net worth increased by $193 million. How's that for a pay raise? Money and talent afforded her to be named one of the world's best dressed over 50, according to March 2013's Forbes magazine. Along with Queen Elizabeth, Barack Obama, and fellow fashion magnate Tom Ford, Miu Miu, as her close friends call her, is a next-level art collector. On top of buying pieces to store at home, she started her own contemporary art museum. The new Fondanzione Prada is where you can see priceless Italian pieces like Serial Classic, as well as the bizarre fish tank exhibition where the Prada influence is very apparent. Besides her royal fashionista lineage, as she is the youngest grand granddaughter of the brand's founder, Mario Prada, in her own words, she articulates how she separates art and fashion. Art is for expressing ideas and for expressing a vision. My job is to sell. Now that's money in the bank. Whether you are residing in the hills of Italy or vacationing in Venice, billionaires flock to Europe's most expensive street, Via Monte Napoleone. Milano's luxury boulevard is where you can spend up to 250 Gs on a Gucci Stewart Hills belt. 33 grand will buy you an Italian Van Cleet and Darpels, yellow gold diamond Bogota necklace. But even that's peanuts. When you're balling out of control, designers come to you. A Keton custom-made men's suit can run you up to $100,000. That'll put a small paper cut in a billionaire's bankroll. When in Rome, Billionaires will spare no dime to enjoy the best meals from the priciest menus at spots like the Club del Doge restaurant, located along the Grand Canal. Their caviar dish goes for a cool $220. Elite palates have the pleasure of enjoying a $115 sample menu from Il Palagio, located inside the Four Seasons Hotel in Florence. And all of that even before the appetizers. Italy's richest also flock to the Waldorf Astoria's highly praised Rome Cavalleri Hotel for the only restaurant in all the city that earned a three Michelin star rating. Impressive. The gourmet chefs at La Pergola live to entertain their wealthiest clients with $600 Mediterranean dishes, as well as the option of 60,000 different bottles of wine and 29 choices of water. Whoa, feel like taking a helicopter ride spur of the moment? No problem. Travel in high fashion via chopper starting at just $22,000 and you will leave a lasting impression when you arrive. Rub elbows with the likes of celebrities such as Beyonce and Leonardo DiCaprio at the most exclusive VIP nightclubs in Costa Smeralda, Sardinia, like the Ritual Club or the appropriately named Billionaire. What's the cover charge like on the Emerald Coast? That's the least of your concerns, as a night out will cost you in the thousands. All lovers of luxury automobiles know that Bugatti is the largest and most expensive Italian car manufacturer. The most exclusive new Italian roadster? Probably the $2.5 million Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Super Sport. She goes up to 269 miles an hour, and there's only 30 of them. We imagine an Italian billionaire would have home field advantage in procuring one. 
Too rich for your blood? The 300K all-wheel drive Ferrari FF is a relatively cheaper alternative to cruise the Amalfi Coast. These pedigreed vehicles aren't parked in simple two-door driveways either. There's no shortage of high-end real estate in the destination cities of Italy. From manors to villas to actual castles, billionaires shed out millions for any style of architecture they choose to call home. Take this sprawling manor in the town of Florence, the Sala della Luna Nera. What does 48 million euros buy you? How about 38,000 square meters of Rococo-style halls, a Renaissance-inspired terrace, plus a lush 18-acre garden? Bella Italia. If a palladial manor is not your speed, may we suggest the fairy tale life of owning your very own castle? For just 35 million euros, you too can feel like a prince or princess roaming the halls of the castle near Arezzo. With all the history, architecture, fashion, and fine dining available, it's no wonder Italy is a billionaire's paradiso. But this is just one place on earth where the wealthy gather and share their riches. Billions of dollars will allow your heart to follow its most extravagant desires.